I want to show you how you can use automatic exposure bracketing to get much better HDR results in a Canon T4i or T5i. So I have this scene here with a very bright sky up above this house and uh, kind of a dappled light effect. And if I take a picture, you know, it does a pretty decent job, but you can see that up top we're losing some detail uh, in those leaves. Uh, it's just very, very bright up there. Now, because I did mention HDR, the camera does have built-in HDR. I'm just going to turn the dial to that scene mode. There we are. And to make sure we are in that queue, and then we are on, got to press set, HDR backlight control. So it's going to take three consecutive shots right here. Let me just make sure it's focused in the, on the house. And you heard it take those three shots. And so it varied the exposure, a stop below medium exposure, or middle exposure, I should say, middle exposure, and a stop above middle exposure. And here's what we get. Now, if I hit play, notice that my original shot and my HDR, one, don't look a whole lot different. The leaves up above are exposed a little bit better. But notice that there is a size change as well, because it has to align these three images in the camera it crops the outer edges to make sure that everything lines up nice and neat. And that's the result we get. Not a big deal, I just want to make you aware of it. So I'm going to go back to P mode and show you how to do automatic exposure bracketing. So uh, it can be done on the back of the camera if you're not in live view, but because I'm in live view, I'm going to hit menu. On the second camera, oops, sorry. On the second camera menu option, we have exposure compensation and automatic exposure bracketing. I'm going to press set. This is where we can shoot below and above our middle exposure, what the camera thinks is the correct exposure. If we rotate the dial up front, we then automatically move into the exposure bracketing, which will then take three pictures. That's what each of these little red lines down here means. One right now, let's, let's be extreme. And that's, so that is about two and a quarter or two and a third stops underexposed, middle exposure, and two and a third stops over exposure. Now, I always forget to do this. You must press set or it's going to ignore what you just did. Now, I need to make sure that on cue, I am set up for continuous shooting. You want to be using a shutter, uh, sorry, a tripod when you do this automatic exposure bracketing to line these images up. Photoshop will do a decent job. Most programs will do a decent job, but you can make it a lot easier for the program and make it a lot less painless if you use a tripod so there's very little movement between the three shots you're about to take. So you can see down here now on my exposure meter indicator, it has the little divots where each picture is going to be taken. So I'm going to hold down this button. And there we go. So we have play. We have one that's two stops overexposed, two stops underexposed, and our normal exposure right there. Now the trick is to take these back to the computer and combine them. I'll show that in a future video. So for this, this was just shooting your, you're using your automatic exposure bracketing in a Canon T4i or T5i. Thanks for watching.